Hi, my name is Eric from Fly the Sim, and today I am going to show you how to use the layout editor in Simavio. All right, so to begin, I have uh, the, the um, I need to actually open the layout editor, um, and to do that, with within the Simavio menus, you go to File. I'm sorry, you go to Edit. And layout or control L is the hotkey. Okay, so when you go into the layout mode, it gets rid of the border around Simavio and it brings up this menu uh, window. And I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down and just explain basically um, how this thing works. All right, so starting from the top, you have the um, set XP aircraft. So what that does is it defines the path where the X-Plane ACF file is located. So when you load this layout, you it will automatically load the correct X-Plane aircraft. So in here, when you click on Set XP Aircraft, it allows you to browse to the location <coughs> within the X-Plane menus where your X-Plane aircraft is located. And for our purposes, my AC file is located here. So when I click open on that AC file, it is going to put that path right up here in the top. So when I save my layout, <coughs> when I save my layout, <coughs> it's going to save away the path of that that X-Plane ACF. Next up is the Select Aircraft Instrument Filter. Now, uh, when you buy a Cessna uh, for FTS-1000, you're going to get a list of aircraft. So when I change the aircraft, it refilters the list of available instruments that are available for just that, that aircraft. Since this is a 172 panel, I'm going to select Cessna 172S. Now I have all the available instruments that I can use to create my panel layout. Um, there's two ways of selecting it. You can either just click on the instrument and it creates this red border, or you can select the instrument uh, just by uh, clicking on the name of it. And you can turn on or off the instrument just by clicking on the uh, uh, text box that's that's right there. So we, we want to have it on. Um, the next part of this is resizing or recentering the instrument. So when you click on the instrument, um, it comes up with its current um, values and you can just use these arrow keys. You can just move it, shift it left or shift it right. Um, or you can you can go to the corner of the instrument and drag it larger. If you want to uh, rescale it uh, without maintaining the aspect ratio, you can deselect that aspect ratio and now you can stretch it in the X or the Y direction. <coughs> um, if you want to, if you're too over, if you think that the list is whoa, way too long and you just want to look at the currently selected instruments, you can hit this filter list and apply filter. And <coughs> that is just going to um, show you just the instruments that are currently selected. So to reverse that, you unselect and hit apply filter again. Um, a lot of the times when you're creating these like complex layouts, you're, you're going to find that you can't seem to locate the instrument that uh, you want to resize. If that's the case, a little helpful tool here is this Reset Selected. So this PFD might just be super small um, and it might be way off the screen here um, where I can't even see it. So if I hit, um, if I select the PFD first on this list and go, help me find this PFD. Reset Selected. Boom. It puts it right in the center uh, of the screen at a scale of 1 to 1. So that's a really helpful tool. 
these other things I'm really not even going to touch on uh, they're because they're not as as valuable uh, for, our for our purposes so in the next section down you have Windows location this is where you can define what where you want your instruments to be located on what screen do you want to show your instruments and on what screen do you want to show your outside view so in this case we have a um, a visual here where we want our x-plane view to be on the top three screens which on this menu here is the number three and then I'm going to move this yellow box down here to the other two screens which is where I want my instruments and then I can drag the yellow box to um, encompass the bottom two uh, monitors. Now I have to warn you though to make sure that you've defined your monitor layout and your screen resolutions in Windows before you start spending a lot of time making your layouts because if you decide later on that you want to use a different monitor that has a slightly different resolution then you're going to have to go back in your layout editor and readjust your settings so now that we've um, defined these bottom two displays to be our instruments we can just drag the instrument to its location that we like resize it wow we want to make our entire bottom screen here to be one gigantic PFD and um, and then you can um, basically that's pretty much it with Windows location um, so let me show you a little bit about the panel location so panel location um, will basically shift all of the instruments with center X center Y you can see that it's moving all of the instruments together and then panel X panel Y will actually rescale your instruments and that actually um, jumped to 12.5 because that was what it was saved away at but now um, I can just size it um, smaller and that's pretty much it with the panel location um, the only the last part that's kinda useful is um, the um, the grid units projection and panel color now panel color is important if you are creating a layout where you want to have part of your screen to have instruments and then part of your screen to have an outside view so for example I am going to turn on my um, panel background um, in this panel background I have a bezel uh, it's showing here in red and I want to have my outside view to be this area above the bezel so I want to um, select a color for the back color that uh, will not conflict with any of the colors inside my instruments so the way the um, layout editor works is it will look for that color and it'll say that color is going to be transparent when I go into mask view <coughs> so when I close this out which I'm pretty much done showing you everything I need to in the layout editor so when I close that out um, and then use control M on the keyboard to back out of the masked mode um, it is going to show me that purple area which was the color for the back color and when I use control M again um, it actually should show that transparent but it doesn't <laughs> because there's a little um, menu item in the preferences which is um, called make um, make background transparent when masked okay um, so when you select that now when you use control M on your keyboard you can see what's going on here you now have blue and that blue is my windows background that is just um, 
that window's background. So I think I've covered everything I needed to in the layout editor. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to uh, send us an email at support at flythesim.com. Also check our xplane.org forums for other people that have posted here. Again, this is a feature that's available for anybody that just buys our $40 uh, Simavio software and one of our add-on panels. Again, have a nice day and thanks for watching.